Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching my video daily and make sure you subscribe my YouTube channel over here. All right, today's video, so we are going to do a skincare testing and I bought this yesterday at Sephora during the Sephora VIP sale. I bought a 10 mask must have from Dr. Jar and I want to try one of the masks and then I'm going to try the Iconic Moisturizer, Dr. Jai Sika Part, our favorite beauty must have. In here, it actually has this uh, travel size. So I'm so excited to try this product now. So let's get started and see how this is going to work on my skin. Hi, I'm Steve Jan, founder of Ibu Beauty, and these are my sister. We've been together through thick and thin. Nothing comes between us in our family. Just like our bond, the two new releases of the Mooncast collection, our Hero Serum and Hero Moisturizer, are the super duo. Nothing will come between your skin and the Ibu superpowers. Okay, let me put my glasses on first. I already washed my face, so my face is completely clean. And this is their value set. Of, it is a $67 and $96 value, 10 different masks. And all of the 10, they are three are the, the rubber masks, which they are famous for. And here, there's a, let's see, a brightening vitamin C, firming collagen, and moisturizing hyaluronic acid. You know what? I think my skin getting kind of dull lately, so I'm going to use the vitamin C one and see how this works. So in here, there's two items here, the end pill and the rubber mask. Let me show you guys right now. So it looks like this. It is a Korean brand. It's my first time trying this. A lot of people have been using this. So I'm pretty excited about this. The only thing I'm not too happy about this is that it says you need to leave this on for how long? 30 to 40 minutes. I think that's a slightly extreme because who have time to leave the mask on for 30 to 40 minutes? I don't know. So when you open it, it looks like this. The end pill is oh, it's pretty large. That's a lot of serum in here. And this is the actual mask here. So let's do this now. Let's just do it. So I do I need to apply this entire my face and put the mask over it. So let's uh, let's try. Let me open the mask first. Okay. So when I open the mask, oh, it's just like a like a gel tight the mask like this. Okay, I think the image is a little bit deceiving. It, uh, I thought it was going to be like all full, fully rubber, you know, but yeah, it's a little bit deceiving on the packaging. I think it's exaggerating a little bit. Okay, so vitamin C is a very popular ingredient that to help to brighten the skin. Let's see this. Oh, so it's coming out like a lotion. Okay, that's a very generous amount. Okay. This mask is a $14. It's actually pretty expensive because I think SK2 mask is 111 or 112 for 10 piece. Even SK2 is only about 10 to $12 each. So this is quite expensive. Uh, this is a very thick cream, so I want to put this on. Doesn't it, it has a little light citrus scent, but it's not too rich. Um, so right away I can tell you, if you have a super oily skin, this may not be the product that you want to try. Around my face, actually I actually have a big face, so this is probably a pretty good amount right here for me. The rubber mask is actually has a plastic around it, so you just need to remove the plastic. It's two piece, so you can adjust where you need it. Okay, super cooling. Um, maybe it's not good to use a nine, like very cold nine, because the mask itself is very cold. So let's try. See that there's a lot of plastic here. Doesn't matter which side you use, it's exactly the same. So right away I can tell you, 
the material of the mask is kind of rubbery, right? So there's really no, so it basically acts as a sealer. So when you put any type of serum underneath this type of mask, you will seal the product into skin. So the serum can go in deeper. So that's what this is about. Bad thing about this type of mask, it moves, see? See that it moves very easily. So that means when you have this particular type of mask, you can't really be moving around too much, you know, because if you move too much, the mask is going to move. That's kind of annoying. So typically, I do not like this type of rubbery mask because, like I said, it just moves too much. I like the sheet mask better because it actually stays better on my skin. Okay, we're going to leave this on for 30 minutes and then we're going to be back and finish that with the moisturizer and then we'll see how this is going to work on my skin. Okay, so it's been about honestly about 25 minutes. I can't deal with this anymore because it's keep on falling, it's moving on my skin. I really feel like masks like this, you kind of just need to lay there. Uh, or like, kind of like lean back, not to move too much. I was moving too much. So I was constantly moving the mask. So that's very annoying. Anybody have the same problem like this? Let me know. I cannot be the only one. But while I was wearing this mask, I was studying the Dr. Jar. Very interesting about the Sika Pear, the um, Derma Green Solution the tiger grass color correcting treatment. This is actually very good because um, I was looking at the ingredient list and I forgot to tell you, I actually been using their cleanser now. I love the cleanser, it is so good. Okay, so the reason why I'm impressed with this right now is the ingredient. The first ingredient is water, which is very common, right? But the, but the second ingredient is a Centella Asiatica leaf water. And that ingredient is basically um, anti-stress. Uh, anti Do you know the difference between Centella Asiatica versus Centella Asiatica leaf water? It's a little bit different, but this still sounds like a lot of good ingredient in here. So it basically is all about reducing stress, enhance your skin vitality, and soothe the skin and restore the moisture, and also reduce the inflammation. This is exactly what the lady was telling me. Because I was telling her that, you know, I've been using La Mer Concentrate for a long time. But see, just talking, the mask is moving now. It's moving. Um, so I've been using La Mer Concentrate for a long time because I like the La Mer Concentrate that can uh, kind of like heal my skin when my skin get really irritated. But it's so expensive. I'm looking for something more budget friendly version. I'm hoping this could be the one, but I don't know. Okay, so... It's still, the treatment is still on my face. Very, very liquidish still. It's a pretty thick though. Um, I get people ask me a lot that, you know, what do I do after I use the mask like, mask like this? Do I need to rinse it off or do I need to um, follow by skincare? I can tell you this thick mask like this, if you truly leave it for 30, 40 minutes, you still feel very thick on the face. You don't really need to use any moisturizer anymore because there's a lot of treatment on skin already. Um, but if you want to use moisturizer, you can definitely rinse it off with water because you have to remove the leftover on the skin. Because if you don't, when you put the moisturizer on top, it will become this will become a barrier. The moisturizer cannot absorb into the skin, and then your skin gonna be kind of rolling off a little bit. Okay, let's look at the imp first impression. The skin. Obviously, there's a filter built in the camera. We all know that, right? But you can see the before and after. There's definitely more glow to my face. So you can see the vitality, the vibrantness of the skin. Skin seems to be more brighter looking too. I just don't like the fact that the mask move around my face. I just don't like that. That's personal preference. But as far as the result goes, not bad. Not bad. It's definitely... um. A gray mask like emergency use before you're going to somewhere very special you want to look like why wow, look amazing you know so this definitely help but just keep in mind that if you are planning to use this before you wear your makeup I will recommend you rinse it off of water because if you don't your makeup will not sit on top let me rinse it off of water right now and come by seat if the same result still the same okay so this is with the mask after 25 minutes let me go rinse out my face. So I'm back now. Okay, look at my skin. It still have that nice glow to it. But let me tell you, my th I was right. 
there's so much serum on my face I literally need to rinse off with water like wipe it off on my face so so yeah just just remember that if you're gonna wear this mask and you're planning to wear makeup over it I would say just rinse off the mask and don't feel like you're wasting the product because your skin can only absorb so much anyway anything sit on top it's just not absorbing so you'll be fine okay now let's try this a sick up hair moisturizer so this is kind of greenish color I've been re I've been reading a review on Sephora uh, some people say that if you have a dark complexions this will make your skin look pasty and ghostly looking uh, I don't know how that happened but my baby is because of sunblock so I'm just gonna show you on my hand right now it does give you that greenish looking right away you can see that but as you massage it will go right into the skin I do I do love the smell on the skin I, I do love the smell though kind of herbish smell so I like that okay let's just go ahead and massage it I like the creamy creaminess of the treatment oh it does make my face look kind of white is it? Hold on, let me get the mirror here first. Yeah, it does give my skin a little bit opaque looking. And I'm not understanding the correcting part. I think the lady was telling me that if you have a lot of redness, this will correct that. But I can also see what people are talking about, you know, make you look kind of ghost-ish looking. Even though I have an olive complexion, you can see on the video, my skin look kind of a little bit pasty white. So maybe this is something I need to use a very little, not a lot. Um, it does has a SPF of 30 in there. So that means if this SPF, it would uh, oxidize a little bit. So the color should get a little bit darker when times go on more. And I'm touching my face right now is because I noticed that something's rolling off my face. That probably be from the mask. I didn't really, maybe I missed some area that um, didn't rinse it off properly. So, okay. Um, I like the feel though. I mean, I like the feel. It doesn't feel oily. It doesn't feel tacky or sticky. Um, but it also offers the hydration for my skin. Consider not putting, just using the brightening mask and the moisturizer, my skin feel pretty comfortable. But the color on my skin is a little bit off. Even on the mirror, I'm looking at the mirror here right now. Very interesting, very interesting. Uh, I definitely need to give a couple more days to try. But overall, I think this map, I think what people say is correct. You have to be careful with your eyebrow. It kind of got stuck in the eyebrow a little bit. How interesting is this? All right. So definitely when you use this mask, I would have strongly, strongly recommend you rinse it off of water. So this way the residue is not going to be uh, become a barrier for your makeup or your moisturizer. And when you use this moisturizer, I will just use it a little bit because it does change my color a little bit. You can even see on the camera. I don't know if I like that. So, but I tried their cleanser. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, so um, definitely follow me on my Instagram because I'm going to do some update on my Instagram tell you using this for a couple more days. Do I truly like it or not like it? Uh, because like I said yesterday's video, I also bought a special value set of the full size of this. If, if this is not working out for me, I'm going to return that because it's like a 60 some dollars is pretty expensive if i don't like it i don't want to keep it so all right so thank you so much for watching my video today um um yeah so i will see you guys tomorrow okay bye